I, I'm super excited because I'm talking to this awesome lo-fi garage and psychedelic trio. It, uh, it's made up of um, Craig Martinson on guitar and vocals, Mark Brickman on bass and vocals, <laughs> and <laughs> Hannah Teeter on drums. So we're going to dive in right now Let's and do just it. like, um, I want to ask you guys, how was Deaf Girls born? and uh, yeah. Why deaf girls if there's two guys, one girl? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great question. That's well, a very good question. I'll, I'll start. <laughs> uh, so Mark and I have known each other since we were kids. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to high school together, and we actually one of the first things we did before we even knew each other, we wrote a rock opera uh, called Xanthalamus. Yeah. That it's good. we put on. I was maybe 18. I think he was 16. And we stole all the theater kids from their high school theater production. <laughs> we yanked them and put them in our show. And uh, yeah, that was like that was sort of the beginning of us as friends and collaborators. Um, then fast forward, Mark moved to New York, started playing. I moved to New York a few years later. Uh, then I met Hannah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And Mark was in a band. Actually, we were in a band together. I played drums. That band was called the Lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> and check them out. <laughs> that uh, I started teaching Hannah how to play drums. Then we had a Halloween show. The band kind of broke up after that show. Uh -huh. It was my first time ever drumming, and it was so sad. We were Ghostbusters. Like, and you broke up we like the yeah. first yeah. time. Yeah. Like she it was, it was yeah. just like. Everything crumbled immediately, yeah. and it was um, a, re a real. It was bummer. pretty heartbreaking. Yeah, <laughs> but it was the beginnings. But of, that um, that was literally the beginning exactly. of Deaf Girls. Yeah, out of the ashes of the lesbians, <laughs> those Deaf Girls. Exactly. Yep. It's really after the lesbian breakup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lesbian. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And I just alive. want to say I love like the the quirkiness and like of your persona and your music and just. As I mentioned before, you guys are having this show with Andrew WK, who's yes. also like, yeah. he's a big personality. He's a hero. Yeah. He's a party yeah. hero. Party, legend. party hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh so God. stoked. And like, I, I was looking through his social media, and he like, oh, he's a riot. He, yeah, he his like stories are so like his Instagram stories are so good. <laughs> Everyone. Yeah, they're they're like inspiration. He could become to like next. the DJ Khaled, you know, mm -hmm. Instagram. Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, this Mark has been recently is a party plant. Look at the leaves; <laughs> they are growing at a vertical angle <laughs> in a symmetric, symmetrical way. It's pretty much it's, spot it's on. Exactly, yeah. Spot no, on yeah. Here. You can't so party plant sighting. Mark yeah. has taken to like I've, definitely. Um, I've adopted his. Um, you've adopted his style on your Instagram stories as well. He's my, he's my it's a good look. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think it was like a pizza guitar or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and a taco, and a taco one. The taco yeah. one looks crazy. Yeah, it's pretty one. crazy. Yeah, you, gotta, cool. yeah, you gotta have that if you're in a band. It, <laughs> yeah, we. I was like, oh, we've been doing this wrong. We don't right, have right. any band essentials. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. you hear a rumor uh, before yeah. with Wasn't Andrew? There were like a, a few years, like three years ago, where he was gonna be like a, an amb a U.S. ambassador or something oh, like that. Yeah. It was on social media. I hope so. I didn't. I have not heard that. Yeah, but he would do an amazing job. You'd vote for him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was like, it was like three, two, three years ago or something Whoa. like that. And I was just going, all right. Yeah. <laughs> He's a man of the people. He, so. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, Spread that might the be the way to bring party. people together. But how did you guys come together? Did he like reach out to you? Or like, how did you guys like get into this? Well, game? so uh, we've been really fortunate. There's uh, a tape label slash collective in Brooklyn called GP Stripes. GP Stripes? Yeah, they're so And awesome. those guys are just so welcoming and encouraging and supportive of the local Brooklyn music scene. And they've mm -hmm. really cultivated this incredible network of bands. Mm -hmm. um, and they put out our EP. And uh, the doctor, Dr. Jordan Bell, it's oh, his birthday Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! I hope he's listening. Happy yeah, birthday! I hope yes. he is too. Uh, <laughs> but he... <laughs> Yeah, I think some he's connected with Live Nation mm -hmm. somehow, oh. and so I Live Nation, yeah, Live. Oh. So Live Nation has been looking to GP Stripes to get local support for shows, mm. and the first round, uh, this amazing band Holy Tunics played mm -hmm. at the Warsaw actually, and so when Andrew WK came through, they were like, "Hey, do you guys have any bands?" and 
we were very fortunate because we were the first band they thought of. Wow. You know, like our That's hashtag cool. is hundred percent party lifestyle all the time. Feel free to use that. Yeah. Yeah. Please do. It's uh, a good one. It's a long one. And a lot of people were like, Oh, you guys are the obvious choice to play this show. So that was how. Mm. So those guys really hooked us up with this. I mm. thought that we were being pranked though. I was <laughs> yeah. just like, There's no way. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty it's pretty incredible. It's pretty it's, exciting. It's yeah. it's, it's, um, it's ultimate. Wow, it's like probably like your biggest gig, maybe. Oh, oh for, sure. Yeah, for, like, sure. Like, for sure, for wow. sure. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> recently, you guys like, um, it was like through Live Nation that you guys dressed up mm -hmm. as Andrew WK, <laughs> oh and you went around giving out flyers for the show. So I just like wanted to ask about that experience because I was actually the one who like found your pants on Uniqlo? That's <laughs> that was you? Yes. Yeah. They're... They were too big. Yes. Oh my gosh. No, they were too big. They were Mark no, I, I like love a, them. Like a, um, no problem. <laughs> Yes, Mark like had to fashion himself a belt out of like twine. pieces of twine he found. It was, it was oh, incredible it was and it belt. looked great. It looked great. Yeah, well, no, it was we, a good we, look. They were no. clearance. They were five dollars. They were a great deal, but the sizes were forty-one and forty-two, uh, so we were mm -hmm. all kind of in pants about ten. He had some big size. pants to fill. Oh. We <laughs> belted them up. <laughs> yeah, we no, we, we belted them up. It was great. We looked great. We looked it was like wild. It felt great to just mm -hmm. be in the heart of Williamsburg. Dressed like Andrew WK. Yeah, Andrew WK. It was yeah, nice to I was, him. You were yeah. being nice. I was harassing people. Yeah, you, you were. <laughs> I was really in their face. Yeah. Mark met so many party pups that day. Oh, it was yeah. incredible. Dogs, yeah. He met the biggest party pup. Yeah, I've never seen a dog that big. It was ever. ginormous. It was. Um, check him out on Instagram, Brew the Wolfhound. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, I. Someone told me also that you guys have like some kind of. Interesting looking band van. Oh. Uh, okay, yeah. RIP. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I want to know yeah. oh my God. what the history behind that is, or like what is this band van that I've been hearing of? Yeah, so. Flame van. Flame, flame van, RIP. RIP. Mm -hmm. um, that was my. my I had a, a white minivan with flame decals on it that I've driven around <laughs> for the last seven, <laughs> now seven, or, seven or eight years. Uh, it was one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. Her name was Pamela, and uh, she she served me well for a long time, and kind of just you know been in a state of disrepair for a long time. And I refused to put. I just thought magic was gonna hold her together forever. It did. I really it did for a while. I, and uh, it was actually a couple weekends ago. I said, let's get one more beach trip in this season. I packed up all my friends. We drove down, parked in the beach. The axe, the axe. I don't know anything about cars. It basically <laughs> fell apart in the parking lot, and I just left it there. I took the plates. So if you go to uh, Jacob Reese Park, <laughs> open, Jacob open Reese. grave, open grave. Mm -hmm. Pamela, it's still there. Man, throw some flowers on it. Mm -hmm. It might have been towed at this point. Burning Man. But oh yeah. My <laughs> yeah. Burning Van. Burning Van. Yeah, Burning Van. Burning Van. Burning Van. Yes, yeah. it's a new van. festival. Burning Van. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're the headliners. Yeah. Oh, we'll definitely headline that every year. Mm -hmm. I'm down. <laughs> Really anyway. Townsend's gonna open on there, melodica. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Doing a, he has his melodica right now. Yeah. You can. Oh my god. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yep. <laughs> we'll get it. There it is. One more time. I can't find the key. That's hilarious, well. It's not like I'm a singer in a band. Like, yeah, maybe, no, I, maybe I should be able to pick up the tune. Oh my gosh. Embarrassing. Can but we bleep that out? So request. good. Yeah, it was actually, good. we brought a friend, we brought uh, our buddy Texas Josh here. Hello everybody, my name's Texas Josh. I came all the way from Texas. <laughs> and He's opening a chain of steak restaurants. I've been opening uh, steak restaurants, and uh, it's called the Three for Three for Sundays. You buy three steaks, you get you get um, a, a, a steak in the mail. <laughs> so come by. And yeah, you guys, if you want to talk to. All right, uh, Texas Josh. Yeah, if you want to call Josh, me and, um, you and tell, you should call me right now. Call right call now Texas on Josh. six four six three one two. Four seven two six for a chance to win not only steak, but yes. a chance to win 
tickets to a pair of tickets to Andrew WK's show with yep. Deaf Girls, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're in the studio, so please call in, ask them a question, because they are really eager to hear your voices. We need them. I need them. And, and Texas Josh needs um, <laughs> um, Texas Josh um, would please um. <laughs> Or you dog. haven't said anything yet, Texas Josh. Please like um, a plural noun from our lovely um, radio show host, please. <laughs> a, lo a lovely what? Radio show host. Hostess, <laughs> hostess, oh. hostess. Texas Josh I think what is Texas flirting. Josh, oh I think what Texas Josh is failing to address is that during the course of this radio interview, we'd like to complete a mad lib. We'd love to do a so, mad lib. So, surprise. So, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. It's so exciting. Yes. It's ring, the ring. phone. I thought it was a secret okay. mad lib, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we can't ask for people. Caller, like, it's true, it's true. it is, okay, hello. Hi, uh, this is Texas Josh, please. Oh, yes, oh. this is Texas Josh right here. How are you today? Oh wait, well, you, well, we got the best taste, steak, best tasting steaks in all of Texas. You know, wait, New York. What, you know, what's our know. listener's name? Hello, what's your name? Uh, I'd like to keep that a secret. Oh, secret. I respect secrets. Oh, yeah, no, I, I respect I, your secrets. That's respectable. Texas Josh keeps all secrets sacred. <laughs> are, you, are you sure you don't want to? Um, It'll just be to between to win between all tickets of us. to Andrew W K show with Deaf Girls at Warsaw, October thirteenth. Friday the 13th. Uh, my, my name is actually Arizona Josh. Yes! Yes, Arizona Josh! Arizona Josh! It's great to meet you. It is oh such an gosh. honor. It is such a pleasure. Um, Arizona Josh, um, can I ask a question, if, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> Um, Arizona oh, Josh, um, we we are we are doing a little fun thing called um, Madly Blues, <laughs> and I'll, if you've got a plural noun for us on the radio today, we would just be floored if you could give us a plural noun. Now. Uh, how about steaks? Yes! 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 Steaks! 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 That is a lovely pearl down, and, and we, we appreciate you. And your music could be like, you know, it's described as like lo-fi. You guys use a lot of distortion as yeah. well. I just want to know, um, where, where does that come from? Like, where the idea of using all this lo-fi and distortion, um... Um, well, we, we recorded our EP, um, on... Um, Texas Josh. <laughs> Let's get Texas, Wait, Texas, Texas Josh. Texas Josh. He can get out of here. All right, all right. Let's get Mark. Guys, I'm going on break. I'll see you guys soon. See you, Texas Josh. Oh, hey guys, it's Mark. Um, <laughs> um, well, we we actually we recorded our first EP um, to a cassette tape on four uh -huh. a four track yeah, cassette, and, yeah. and we we just love the sound of yeah. of tape. It's like really hip, like uh -huh. drums to the tape. It's like so cool. it's got a really cool aesthetic that we yeah. like admire and love. Um, so that's like what we recorded. That's how we recorded the girls EP. And a few of the songs that we picked up, like, you know, especially, uh, I think one of the first bands we all agree, we have very different musical tastes. Mm -hmm. So, like, the Unicorns was a band that we really all were like, oh, we love that. That's mm -hmm. our common ground. And they made one record and then broke up. But there's this a certain magic to that lo-fi sensibility. And it's like, um, I think, like, David Byrne was talking about singers. And if a singer's too good in pop music, like, you can't trust them. A little mm -hmm. bit like it's too I think similarly like indie rock that's the beauty of it you're like they're not trying too hard they're having a good time <laughs> yeah totally yeah and that's kind of like we're trying to get in that sweet spot yeah. so well I think especially like when we started out as a band I was like completely 100% <laughs> new to drums I did not know mm -hmm. how to play the drums um, and so it was like we we kind of had to work with what we had I mean and these guys are both such incredible musicians they've been mm -hmm. making music for a really long time um, and oh, rub, rub, rub you, rub him. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So I think like that definitely. We had to figure out like what kind of music we could make with what we had. Also, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But now Hannah is a freaking incredible drummer. So it was very oh, yeah, very yeah. awesome. <laughs> it was like just to hear things just like get to the next level. It was incredible. Dude, Dude, has <laughs> thanks, you crazy. Would you like? to ask the deaf girls a question for a chance to win <laughs> tickets to their show, or...? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, what are each of your astrological signs, and how does that influence the creative process? Oh, wow. Oh, That's deep. Mar Mark is all set. He knows. <laughs> um, well, I, I'm, I'm a Virgo, and um, that means, I think, I've heard that means you're uh, like a perfectionist, and Craig's also a Virgo, yes. and, two and uh, a perfectionist, and, and it also means we're kind of control freaks, and you wouldn't think that two Virgos like <laughs> together would work, but for some reason, and I can't explain why, 
Um, we've always had great writing chemistry. Well, I think because Hannah's the secret sauce, and you are. Um, I'm an Aquarius. And Aquarius. Yes. Age of Aquarius. This, and so that's how it. Um. Yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the formula? Two Virgos and an Aquarius. Boom. Boom. Done. You've got a band. You're deaf girls. <laughs> I want to ask you guys. What's your favorite meme of 2017? Ooh. Or if you don't know the answer to that question, you could uh, say what your favorite TV show was. I think we had to do both. My favorite, or you could do both, yeah. My favorite meme of 2017 <laughs> is every meme that Mark Brickman ever made yes. for this like very short-lived Death Girls Death Twitter, Girls Twitter um, yeah. account where <laughs> He he ran Meme Monday. Meme, Meme Monday. Meme Monday. <laughs> it had its run. It had its Check run. Check out Jeff <laughs> Girls on Twitter. Hashtag Meme Monday. Hashtag Meme Monday. And you Monday. will see some Mark Brickman original memes, and those are our favorites. That's from... my favorite. Yeah. Um, I, I. But there's like maybe like, maybe I think it kind of died down after the first like three or four. Um. Uh -huh. but, but I would say beautiful. I would rare. say, <laughs> I, it's it, it's between two for me. Um. There's the Cry and Jordan. The yeah, cry Michael incredible. Jordan, he's so crying. Good. It's just a picture of Michael Jordan crying. Yeah. I don't know why it's so great, but it's great. Yeah. But I would well, say you've incorporated that into a lot of your oh, artwork. I am as well. very inspired by memes. Yes. I like the Gene Wilder one from Walt Child and the Chocolate Factory. He's like, where he's yeah. Uh, and it's just always course. super sarcastic. They're like, oh, you're in a band? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love Wait, that. Wait, and what's what's your other Oh, one? oh, my favorite I think is um oh shit. Um wait, 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 wait. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I like that boy. That boy. It's the fro it's the it's the oh. frog riding a unicycle. Oh wait, no. Um, um, it, oh, yeah. uh, I, I'm not allowed to, to say anything bad on the radio, but it says, "Oh <laughs> bleep!" It's that. It's that. Um, it goes, "Hey, it's that boy," and then it goes, "Oh bleep, what up?" <laughs> and it's it's really silly, but it's my favorite one. Um, I hope I said it accurately. If any of you callers want to correct me, yeah. I should probably go on the internet You, right you, you should definitely uh, call about... Search Datboy. It's D-A-T-B-O-I. <laughs> send Mark some angry tweets or emails. Destroy him for his lack of meme knowledge. Or send the band's yeah. memes. <laughs> yeah. We're, we got a lot of we, love, but we, we can we, deal with some We hate. can always use some yeah. hate. It'll fuel hate us. Inspiration. Uh, what was it? Oh favorite TV show? Yeah, favorite TV show. Uh, what do you got? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, gosh, okay, so I watch a lot of TV, it's embarrassing, <laughs> um, I don't know, I really liked, um, I really liked Preacher season one. Yeah. Same. Was that in 2017? Oh, I heard of that. Preacher's a great show. Oh my great gosh, show. it I is. Is it like a yeah. crime show or something? No. Uh, it's no. <laughs> It's a. Uh, I don't. I can't even. There's fantasy elements. There's like supernatural elements. There's Check southern elements. Texas Josh. I love. I love it because it's Texas. Yeah. There's a lot of meat. <laughs> there is a lot of meat. There's a lot of meat. Um. I love I don't, it's, it's really dark and really really funny. Um. Yeah. That was probably my favorite one. Preacher. Stranger Things. Oh yeah. Duh. Oh yeah. yeah Ready yeah, for excited. the next season. Oh, yeah. We've started one. uh rewatching. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm like Game of Thrones nut. Seems. Oh, duh! Twin Peaks. Who is Twin, Twin Peaks is, right, right. Twin Peaks is, is actually my one. favorite one. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe. We had I, I thought, Holy cow. Shout said. out to Emil Hewitt. Emil! Game, 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 Game of Thrones, Twin Peaks nights. Game of Peaks. Game of Peaks. Game of Peaks. Okay, I will deliver this. This Mad Libs is called A Story with a Moral. My favorite yes. type of story. <laughs> there once was a very cruel dictator. Oh. He would go into foreign stakes and bring back Jones. Yes, yes. For those of you who don't know, this isn't part of the Mad Libs, Jones is a euphemism for weed. Oh, weed I, is didn't, weed I didn't is know that. He I taxed him. So let's, I'm gonna go from the beginning okay, now that now we all that have that. I'm glad you said that. I, I wanted to reveal it, but I didn't want to A little want exposition. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Okay. I will <laughs> Refresh. <laughs> there once was a very cruel dictator. He would go into foreign stakes and bring back Jones. <laughs> He taxed his own people and made them give him Western Josh as payment for farming the land. Whoa. Finally, some glorious young bro got fed up and organized the protest. Yes, yes. They fought the oppression by carrying signs that said the dictator was a stake. <laughs> After many years of revolt, they finally wiggled the dictator. <laughs> for punishment, he had to marry a puppy and live in moist, and so little frilly hedgehogs for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. The moral of this story is, 
A stitch in farts saves Western Josh's. Yeah! yeah! That was a good lib. That was a beautiful story. That was story. excellent. I think we all learned something today. That's yeah, cool. I will take with me. Stitch in farts saves Western Josh's. Western Josh's. I'll take that with me for the rest of my life. Yeah, no, I'll never, yeah. I'll never yeah. forget.